सिस्टर मंजूषा सिस्टर प्रतिमा एस्टीम टीचर्स रिस्पेक्टेड पेरेंट्स एंड माय लविंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू क्रिसमस इज ए हिस्टोरिकल सेलिब्रेशन वही क्रिसमस इज बीइंग सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ डिसम्बर रोमन क्रिस्टियन हिस्टोरियन फ्रॉम हिज कोलेबली स्टडी एंड हिस्टोरिकल फाइंडिंग्स ही गिव्स द डेट मदर मेरी वॉज कंसिव्ड फ्रॉम मार्च ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ एंड देर फॉर आफ्टर नाइन मंथ्स ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ डिसम्बर इज द डे जीजस वॉज बॉर्न सो इट इज ए हिस्टोरिकल फैक्ट सो रोमन क्रिस्टियन हिस्टोरियन सिक्सटस जूलियस अफ्रीकानूस फ्रॉम हिज कॉलरली फाइंडिंग एंड हिस्टोरिकल स्टडी he has uh, found because jesus was born before 2023 years and probably there were no facts and figures or no any of uh, exact proof but from the scholarly study it is being fixed and i have visited the birthplace of jesus and the holy land twice in 2015 and 2018 Jesus was born in Bethlehem in the country of Israel and to this day that place is there and it is a cave Jesus was born in Bethlehem in the cave and also Jesus was crucified in Mount Calvary and that place also is in Israel uh, everything is historical so dear teachers dear students and dear parents according to god's plan jesus christ came to this world he became human it is because god the father planned to redeem the world and also he sent god the son to establish the kingdom of god here on earth and to reveal god the father so specific three purpose of the uh, christmas that is jesus come down to dwell among us and uh, by dwelling among us he wants to raise us to divine uh, uh, life and thus jesus is called the redeemer because he uh, according to god the, the father he came to redeem the world and by his very person by his uh, work by his uh, ministry he was he revealed god the father when he raised the dead when he gave sight to the blind when he uh, when he cured the lepers he revealed god the father and through that he uh, tried to establish the kingdom of god that is why when we get the fullness of life uh, through our sight through our uh, uh, parts of the body by our mind that is the redemption so if we are able to utilize our uh, eye if we are able to utilize our ears if we are uh, able to utilize our whole human resources we are redeemed then we prove ourselves as the uh, sons and daughters of almighty god so according to the belief of uh, christians god had we have three god the father who is the creator who is the creator god then god the son who is the redeemer and god the holy spirit who is the sustainer of this world so we the christians believe in one god head only one god is there everybody believes but we believe in uh, uh, god head that is god the father who is the creator god the son who is the redeemer or the savior and god the holy spirit who is the sustainer of our life who is the sustainer of the world so <coughs> dear teachers parents and loving uh, students we see the symbols that is crib crib is the symbol and also we see christmas tree so christmas tree is the symbol of eternal life and uh, in the tradition it is believed that when the lord was born on 25th of december some of the plants and trees of european countries shared the uh, ice 
because the the in the winter in the cold season in the european countries all the trees and plants are covered with ice covered with uh, snow but then to reveal the, this great event these trees and plants shed the uh, snow and they looked very green to mark the birth of lord jesus that is why christmas tree is being used for the celebration of christmas and it is also is the symbol of eternal life and of course the tradition of santa claus christmas papa also is being followed and christmas papa is the uh, tradition of saint nicholas and he was a renowned person and he was known for the uh, for helping the poor and uh, solidarity with the poor so on the feast day of saint nicholas on his uh, feast day uh, gifts were being given especially to the children that is 6th of december and that practice is being followed in the tradition in the parampara and then the santa claus or the christmas papa tradition is there that is why we uh, see very ceremonially christmas papa or the santa claus comes with the gift but that is the uh, representative of saint nicholas who stood for justice and uh, who uh, cared uh, for the children and protection of the children and uh, took so many programs for the welfare of the children so this christmas papa or santa claus is not only just giving the gifts and all but christmas papa also represents taking care of the children giving the gifts helping protecting the children it is not only just giving away the gifts and also that is the tradition of santa claus christmas is the celebration of love christmas is the celebration of joy and happiness christmas is the celebration of life so with the celebration of life with the celebration of love with the celebration of joy and happiness we conclude uh, uh, we conclude the, the the old year that is 2023 and then we uh, refresh ourselves in the holidays winter holidays or the christmas holidays and with the renewed uh, joy and happiness and renewed life we begin the new year 2024 so once again let us understand the spirit of christmas let us uh, imbibe the spirit of christmas it is a universal celebration so let us join hands and the purpose of uh, christmas let us try to implement in our uh, uh, in our life so once again happy christmas merry christmas to all of you and uh, let us uh, go and refresh ourselves during the holidays and then we come back with the new uh, renewed uh, uh, attitude and uh, energy joy and happiness and we begin the new year 2024 so teachers and students once again merry christmas and have a prosperous new year god bless you